As a social media sensation, as far as Queen Lady Gangsta is concerned, age is just a number. For though she's 50 years old, she's as hot and as relevant as any of her millennial counterparts on social media. Inspired by the Beanie Bounty viral versus, Death in the Arena is the next dancehall event taking aim at the international mainstream. Meet its promoter and one of the performers booked for the event. Dancehall trending countdown and more are also in this mix. Welcome to the show everyone. I am Winfred Williams. We'll be back. internationally acclaimed on stage with Winford Williams. Download our app and be on our stage anywhere, everywhere, always. So much more than entertainment. And now, stories making our e-news and reviews for this week. Jamaican choreographer sues Jay-Z and Beyonce. The sum total of a headline that has been publicized on just about every major entertainment and even non-entertainment news platform in Jamaica and some overseas. The Jamaican in question is veteran choreographer, dancer, actress, writer, and director, Dr. Lantanet Steins, who founded her dance company Lakatko 38 years ago. First of all, it started in Miami, you know, because I saw that there was no no dance company with a various um, tri-ethnic community that represented it. Then I came home to Jamaica and my, my, my whole aim changed. I wanted a company that represented Jamaica in every way. And yet the dancers had to be very highly trained. And I wanted to be able to take what is ours and, make, and take it to a level that the world could see. I love Jamaica. That's why I'm here. I was living in America and I came home because I love Jamaica. And I thank everybody in Jamaica because everything in this country gives me choreography. The man that chopped the coconut. You know, the girls that dancing and using their energies to the dance hall. The lawsuit, which was officially filed on June 16, claims that the poor couple misappropriated Steins' intellectual property by using her voice in the intro for their single Black Effect from their joint 2018 Grammy-winning album, Everything Is Love. Steins is seeking US $150,000 in damages. The complaint was filed in the United States Central District Court of California. Stay tuned to Onstage for more on this developing story. And now, the biggest trending dance all song of the week. Winning streak by Massacre is how we jumpstart our countdown for this week at number 10. Winning streak, hot sugar, mad mind, to a living sweet. While surprise, surprise, the Black Rhino is murderous at number 9. This thing of them, you win of them, no trouble, the devil in of them. Speed corner, spray corner. Alkaline's Ocean Wave is the number 8 track this week. Great waves like the ocean, yeah. When you're there, you're better your son, no, the explosion, and we make the commotion. And Chronic law has no ending at number seven. We got through storm and storm again. We no see no calm. I just want my friend. Gaza Vice President Sicker Rhymes has a punching bag at number six. I punching bag. Tell I beat them like punching bag. And starting off our top five, I Water promotes his Reebok. Tommy Lee shows off his tattoo at number four. That's my number that's them black. While Rigging King creates eruption at number three. Comedian turned recording artist Tony Prince jumps into his Honda along with Skilly Bang and has the number two song on this week's dancehall trending countdown. And number one goes to the new trending prince, intense, spitting some serious lyrics in Through the Gate. Even if we had a set size, my same shows, any same and a drink and grey ghost, them are gonna need wings to get you get a red bull. All 
right, so there you have it. Stories making our e-news and uh, reviews this week. And of course, dance soul trending countdown. Stay with us, still to come. The 50-year-old who is as hot and relevant as any Look after the queen. of her counterparts in social media. Ron, what did that but before that, inspired by the Beanie Bounty Viral Versus, Death in the Arena is the next dancehall event taking aim at the international mainstream. Meet its promoter and one of the performers booked for that showdown. All coming up right here on our stage. The internationally acclaimed On Stage with Winford Williams. Download our app and be on our stage anywhere, everywhere, always. So much more than entertainment. Coming on the heels of the Beanie Bounty Viral Versus. Wee oui, wee, oui. you see me me, she see wee oui, wee. Oui. Death in the Arena is a one-on-one -on -one sound clash between veteran sound system warriors. Tony Mataron and the Pink Panther. Set for the 4th of July weekend in Florida, Death in the Arena will be carried on multiple social media platforms, taking aim at the same space that the Beanie Bounty versus impressed. A merger of hip-hop and dancehall fans. Death in the Arena's promoter is New York-based Chauncey Henry Esquire. Right now, right here on our stage. Chauncey, sir, welcome. Pleasure to uh, be here with you, Mr. Williams. It's good to have you, sir. All right, so could you start with the motivation behind this event? That's a very important question. Mm -hmm. The motivation simply was a love for the art, a love for the culture, and wanting to give it, to, give it back to the people so they can see how the culture, how important the culture is and how uh, important it is to folks like me that, um, that have a love for it. And Panther and Mataron, greats by their own rights, for them you know, agreeing to do this, I think it sends a very clear message that culture in Jamaica is very alive and well. The motivation for me was more so saying, well, where is the platform that is designed for Jamaicans and by Jamaicans? And why is it that everyone who is a Jamaican or a part of the culture not included in that conversation? And I think the takeaway for me was, well, perhaps if we did set up a platform that allowed uh, Jamaicans to represent their culture in the way that they see fit, I think that that for me was the motivation. And, and this is no uh, small production, the Beanie and Bounty Verses. It demonstrated for the world how truly remarkable Jamaicans are and how important reggae music is. And I think that when you look at Tony Maturin and, and this Pink Panther Clash, that also sends that same message because without the sound system, you would have no artists. And without the artists, you would have no sound system. It seems to me that you want to make that critical link between the sound system and the, the artist, the, 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 the artist clashing lyrically, and, yes. the, and the role of the so sound system to not only give birth to the music itself, but also it served initially as a platform for such clash. Uh, absolutely, I mean, it's without, it's without question, because the sound system is why you know Bounty and why you know Beanie. Okay, and you have the platform and the reach and so on to, into that space, the same Certainly. space that consumed the Bounty Beanie versus. Certainly. So I'm sure our audience now is dying to hear a little bit about your background um, in music and your background in general, because you're not even, you're a lawyer. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. an attorney. You're not, you're not even in the business. So, so tell us why. Well, I mean, uh, you know, for me, I, I say this all the time. I practically uh, was born on a speaker box. My dad has, has a sound, ton of music out of Long Island. He was one of the first foundation sounds out of Long Island, New York, to actually bring dance hall to, to New York. 
with Supertone, who, who folks now know as Irish and Chin, you know, a, a number of different sound systems in Long Island that, uh, that, that I grew up uh, with. And so that love for the music and the love for the culture has always been there. Um, Dalavera Henry, D.V. Henry, uh, for, with, was, was with Tundra Music for a very long time, still is. Um, now he's known as, uh, uh, he has a platform, Brother Inspirational Henry. But this, this is the camp that essentially, you know, I've, I've, uh, the cloth that I, that I was cut from. A number of artists, multi platinum artists have come out of the Tunda camp. Um, you know, so for me, just having that love for the music and following it uh, for all these years has always been an important part of, of who I am. So, uh, you know, as life went on and then, you know, moving into the career of law and so on, you never, you never forget the culture. You never forget the culture. You, you, the love for the culture is always there. Mm-hmm. And uh, in fact, it was the love for the culture that led to this happening uh, out of my interest to say, well, hey, Tunda has all of these dub plates, right? Some, you know, dub plates from some of the greats that folks can't even get, right? Some of the greatest DJs have, have uh, I've seen in my basement from Super Cat to Nitty Gritty, you name it. Yeah. So I'm looking at the dub box and I'm like, well, what are we doing? This is 40 years of, of music, what, what's happening? And then from that conversation, um, that's when I linked with Pink Panther and, and, you know, with the hopes of, you know, building the catalog. And then the conversation came up about the state of the culture and the sound class. I said, well, you know what? Let's just do it. All right. So what, how will they engage each other in this clash? So we have, uh, we have secured a, uh, a 20,000 square foot Live Nation venue um, mm-hmm. in Florida that we are going to retrofit to look like an arena. And in this arena are going to be stage left, the world general Pink Panther, and stage right, Tony Mataran. And we are going to produce it in a way that audiences and folks that that tune in are able to actually have that personal experience with not only the way that music is played and, and a clash is done, but in a way that is designed to, to keep folks captivated. With Digicel, our partner, Digicel International, they will be uh, heading the, uh, the VIP section, so to speak, which will consist of um, uh, a select number of their audiences that will participate in a Zoom grid that they'll be able to view and be a part of it to sort of, sort of serve as the, as the audience. But this is a showdown. Yeah. Uh, and then also Walsh Fire, um, Tremendous uh, consideration uh, to him, uh, appreciation to Major Laser, uh, Walsh Fire for the past 10 weeks. Uh, he and SoundClash.com have, par- have uh, partnered to bring the masses um, clashes for the past 10 weeks. And they did that and they continue to do that in remarkable, in a remarkable manner. And uh, but what we're doing here with death uh, in the arena.com is we're actually creating that arena and having two of the greatest in that arena. Will yes. there be judges? Uh, well, you know, I, I had this conversation um, about judges, and I think the best approach would probably be to, uh, you know, let, let, the, let the people decide. And okay. I think that by doing that, it keeps the conversation going. Um, but certainly, you know, that's something that, as we get closer to the date, um, we'll be able to, uh, you know, perhaps formalize or not. Mm-hmm. So it's deathintheArena.com? Well, yes. Yeah, so, so, so that's uh, one platform. Yes. What are the others? So um, it will be streaming from major uh, lasers, IG Live. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, we're in discussion with a few other uh, outlets for how to logistically bring about uh, having it um, streamed and okay. brought to the people. Okay, so those listening now should stay tuned to, to us and other media outlets for where and how they can access this clash, right? Absolutely, absolutely. It's a, it's a, it's a fee that's going to be given out for everybody to Okay, to so, so it will be on multiple platforms. And uh, we on stage, we're endorsing this event, and we will be making sure that all our followings around the world will be stimulated, will want to to uh, log on and be part of this. Yes, absolutely. All right, so until we speak again, Chauncey. Yes. I want to thank you, sir, and we look forward to this. And uh, speaking of the 
men who are facing off. One of them is next, right here on our stage. A ping panther a player, ready for kill some jump and stuff. The pink panther, and later, the internationally acclaimed On Stage with Winford Williams. Download our app and be on our stage anywhere, everywhere, always. So much more than entertainment. As you might have heard in the previous segment, Pink Panther is set to take on Tony Mataron in a virtual sound clash on July 4th, dubbed Death in the Arena. Look out for the war, people. Look out for the war. Mataron, you chat, chat off your mouth every day. We're going to secure it now for life. Pink Panther is one of the most decorated veterans in the sound clash arena. All of nine championships under his belt. The Pink Panther, right now, right here on our stage. Panther, sir, welcome. Where are you going, Wilford? <laughs> you tell me, sir. <laughs> Where are you going? Yeah, well, I'm going to go. War I'm again, Jeffy. war again, boss. <laughs> Ready for the big thing, you know? Say, that means that Corona now affects you in any way, shape, or form right now, because you're focusing now on this big clash. Well, I'm something to know him, so. Okay, well, I'm ready for the clash. Ready for you, are. You ready? Okay, all right. So, so how important is it to you, though, Panther? It's a very important platform, because um, I want to tell you, the first time I love him, clash. Yes. So my own career, I've never been, never done a clash um, in this form before, never. Okay. So I'm very serious, I take it very serious. And no matter what I refer, everything goes. I'm a career, so I take everything for a clash, I take it serious. Yes. So you're, you're busy now making dub plates, or your yes. arsenal is already ready for Mataran? I don't sleep, beautiful. Day and night, in a <laughs> studio. <laughs> well prepared, I'm tell you, full loaded, strap up. Okay, the last time I saw you in a clash was on the Jam Rock Cruise. And yeah. I thought, let me tell you my opinion, I, I thought you were too casual, too relaxed. You're, you're a well decorated veteran loaded with accolades, and you just feel say, you're going to just walk over the man there and, and, and the man will take you out. Is that really that you know, little friend? Yes. Uh, we prepare feet, but I saw the game stay. You win some and you lose some. Yes. Remember, my world is the most tight in the world. So, I feel that you was against me, so boy, Pink Panther, I win too much time. So, we're not going to make you win that one. Let me stop the reach, you know, in front of the back of you. Yes. So, you win them turn again, so no matter where you play sometime, you just can't get back. How many wins do you have against Tony Matera? Oh, we have nine world titles. I think men crash ball three times out of the nine. For me, win. Yeah. But me kill him a lot. I've beat him in other classes, like Sound for Dead. What about different, different, different classes we beat him in other? More than him kill you? Oh, yeah, so we fought, man. Definitely. Even one recently, like like about right before the car roll, we kill him. Yeah, so it's not like I don't know a lot of times to be a little more. Better go recent, like months ago. I want to tell you, we fought. It's not drama close, eh? I didn't really have clash from my mind all the time. We just want to enjoy the cruise at first, but that's for the cruise. I want to enjoy everything in the world of life. Obviously. <laughs> you never look like you were ready for war. But this time you will be ready, though. <laughs> well, it, this is uh, ready for this, man. You know, my man should not get to man. You can't get to finish. Make the invitation right now. Make an invitation right now to your fans around the world, because they are dispersed all over the world, and so is on stage. On stage reaches. All of them. So tell them right now how, what they should do to give you support or, or what? Well, we have fans all over the world, because a specific place. Yes. Ping Pong, I'm the most tight, I'm a world champion, nine times. Yes. So I know my fans all over the world, but we have to big up the country people in specific. Mm -hmm. All put people from Jamaica. Every, the whole I parish them, I'm a Kingstonian and the same way. So I have Kingston fans. But Mm -hmm. We have a big, we have a big support from the country. 
All right. What's your comment on the recently concluded versus the Beanie Bounty versus? Man, enjoy it. It was nice, fun. Yes. Fun. You know what I talk about? Who we know? Who don't know? Just love the platform. Love what we do for the culture. We love everything about it. Everybody in a nice mood. Killer was in a nice mood. We don't see me for a while. Yes. Be in a nice mood. It was just fun. Nice. It motivated you, didn't it? Definitely. That's why we look at talking about this. Yes. When you talk about this, you want to say, we never hesitate. Come in a real life, real life clash. People have been asked something to do it. From this quarantine thing start, I hold up a promoter and check me and say, yo, you know, I do one clash, very rare. I'm never interested. But when I see the platform and this other break, I say, okay. Yes. I'm ready for that one. Yeah. All right. So no excuse then. <laughs> <laughs> On the fifth, <laughs> the day after. <laughs> no excuse. <laughs> no. And Jam Rock, you were out to, to, um, to enjoy the cruise. So we'll give you a pass on that. I saw that in you. I saw where you were very relaxed. Yes, I was there. You know what I meant? Yes. So no one here, Regin. You know, sir. We're holding you to that. Anyway, <laughs> Regin, it's good to have you as usual, Pink Panther. Always good to have you on our stage. Yeah, man. Respect, good for Blessed love, sir. All right, so there you have him right here on our stage. The Pink Panther heading into war July 4th. Wow. Stay with us. Still to come right here on stage. The internationally acclaimed On Stage with Winford Williams. Download our app. And be on our stage, anywhere, everywhere, always. So much more than entertainment. As a social media sensation, as far as Queen Lady Gangster is concerned, age is just a number. For though she's mature, she is as hot and as relevant as any of her millennial counterparts on IG. Yeah, look after the queen. And now she has added music to her repertoire. Then I wonder if I really queen that. Wow. Queenie, right now, right here on our stage from London. Hi, yes. Queenie. Queenie, welcome. Welcome. Thank you very much, Mr. Williams. Welford, blessed love. <laughs> blessed love back at you, sweetheart. Me. Thanks for inviting me on, on stage. Oh, it's Finally, a, I made it here. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. All Thank right. You. So, so t start with telling us about your roots in Jamaica. Where in Jamaica are you from? And how long I have you been in the UK? In, I was born in Seaford, St. Thomas. Yes. So that's my birth parish. Then I grew up in Yala St. Thomas. Then when I was a teenager, I go to Kingston 30 in Waltham Park Road. Mm -hmm. And then when I was like 25, I come to England, which is 20 odd years now. Yes. So I do half of the 25 and half year out of the 50. <laughs> All right. So were you always an entertainer, a social commentator, a comedian? And you're also an, an artist? A recording yes, artist. Sir. Yes, I am. I've got multiple personality. I'm just a strong character from birth. What did you start in Jamaica in terms of the arts? I used to do modeling, I do singing, tea parties. I'm always a strong character. Okay. I like to sing, even though they say I could have sing, but 50 years after I proved them wrong. So I've been singing, dancing, back home using fuck. And uh, the fuck and the great, I make the own music and dance because my daddy from St. Thomas used to beat the drum. Yes. So every time I get to go beat the boom, 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 can I ask you girl and tell him beat the coming at drum? Okay. Like, you know, like, uh, all when the world locked down, you just have that little vibe in there. So any little thing, you just get it and make music. Yes, yeah, so from young, I've got that in me. And I always want to be a superstar. Okay, but you didn't really get the love. Yeah. Until you migrated to the UK? Yeah, yes, Winford. That's right. And so uh, how long now? And what, how did you start to get love? Was it music, comedy, what? Um, um, see, you know, Instagram just come out a couple of years ago. Yes. So like I'm in England and them have party. I have this slogan, so the children are the future. 
And we used to say, my glad it's the guy the children are the future. That was so catching. So each time they have a kiddies party, I would host the kiddies party. And I would let them come, dance, spelling, be competition, different, different things. Mm -hmm. So from being 25, I'm doing entertaining, promoting, hosting at party, dance with the kids, them jumping on the road like me under my age. Oh. So I've been doing that before Instagram, Facebook, and MySpace. Okay, so your breakout on in social media was deliberate. You deliberately um, look at it and say, I am going to start something on social media. How did that start? Because social media exists. And I'm already a character. So I've got this friend called Tammy. When I sent for her a couple of years ago, she said, Jay, I wish I could... I could have something for the world, world to see. Yes. Them yes. time that them not have no Instagram, but she must have created their hyperactive. She, she wished the world could see me. So when those internet businesses come in now, I like to be seen, because I like to be seen. Whether it's good or bad, I just want you to see me. So I'm going to care about your company, so you see me. <laughs> OK. But when they come in now, every little thing me I do, I say, why am I in room for to see this? May I share this with Mr. Williams? So just make me put up just for someone to see me. but. Not to know that I would reach this far. Cause people been telling me, yeah, star, yeah, for star movie for this. But I didn't see it naturally. Mm. I didn't know it would be in music. Okay, so you started getting some love on MySpace. Yes, then Facebook. And then Facebook. But the real the big breakout came during the Instagram era, right? Yes. Yes. You got the, the big love on Instagram. Yes. Okay. What, what was the first thing you posted that went wild on, on Instagram? Well, um, I mean, I remember the first thing that went wild. I'm going to post some, some to the duration of time, but for, I can't tell you specifically, I'm going to see some people can go. Mm. I want to place in Stratford. Yes. I want our fans to see me, get excited, and say, Lady Gangsta, because me get carried away the way she greet me. I see for people them three can go. I, but by this, that was the third. But by the sudden, I got viral. I hear everybody I say, but the palm, um, whatever on this. So when I went and see myself on Pink Wall or wherever, we <laughs> just post back the video on my thing and just be wrong and strong. I said, hey girl, me's not a thief, me's a shoplifter. <laughs> 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 so that went viral because what people saying, how oh, could I not be a thief? But I am saying I'm a shoplifter because I would not go in your home. Space, more to pick your pocket when for yes. more to cover your house and go in your house and take something personal. And more to invade somebody personal space. But when me wake up a morning time and tie my head black and put on my black suit, I work my guy working at people them store. Mm. So I'm just explaining I am not a thief because I would not teach someone personal stuff. But this shop them are insure me take my chance, it's not right, but you have to take a chance in it. <laughs> and you were caught on camera, yes. And they and and it, and they posted it. Yes. Yeah, so what happened? My fans, the way she fascinated by seeing me, she took it on her phone. She show her friend. Said, look where Queenie coming at the store. Come the but the friend send it to her friend. And from one friend to another friend, I remember me and Queenie just blow up and get viral. So when me see, see the sun, I say, all right, the whole way I got shame. I'm not having this because she she um violate our database. So what people saying, I'd be wrong and strong, but I did not be wrong and strong because I could sue that company. Because if I teeth something, the security is supposed to take the camera, come on my address so them know, take me to the police station and charge me. But by she done that with her personal phone, it give me the strength because I live here so I know my rights. Mm. So it give me the strength to retaliate back to tell her, say, listen, girl, if you call to me. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So how did it turn out? Legally. The police them never come. So, the police them never come down at all. Because I take a camera and make sure that I can get the ten them come up. Because you know what, Wilfred, yeah? Mm. I am a person like this. I don't like to hold grudge. I don't like to hold things in me. So whatever decision I make in life, whether it's good or bad, I have to cope with it because it's me. So I didn't want my Kango video to go viral. But when I see that viral, I had us to back me. So by backing me, I'm telling these people, listen, it's not all the things say, I just thief in such a thief, and it's a hustling. It's a hustling for the end. My little hungry belly family, them said speed. 
So, see, I like how you have some people send cannabis, some people chat cigarette, everybody do a different hustle. So, that was the aim of the, 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 the thing. But when the people them start bash me now, I have to stand up for myself and make them know that I am not embarrassed of what I've done. So, I will stand proudly and said, yes, see the candle here, instead of not at me, I'm at my cannot sleep in my bed, police come lock me up for the candle. I'm sure the police them, but they didn't come. They didn't come because I'm more to get not more than them camera arrest me and send me back home. I wouldn't get nothing really. Okay, so. but all of that didn't happen. But you, you, you went on to get to Ghana following. So you, you started what? Uh, what? Did, where did you go from there in terms of your? Okay, so from that now, Mr. Mr. Williams, I'm glad you asked me. I want me not cry upon the interview, but that was the 20th of November. Three years ago, 2017, precisely the 20th of November, I stole the kangaroo. So because the kangaroo video get viral, you know a lot of people watch it, so they judge him. So a couple months after in March, I, was, I went to a shop in Wood Green, and the security guard saw me and he said to me, I had this bag on my hand, like I had the handbag on my hand like this, and I took another handbag in the store and I have it on my hand like this. So this is the security. Give me the box. So I said to him, you cannot tell me that I'm still in the store. Remember, I live here. I know my rights in it. So regardless, me teeth something yesterday or 10 years ago. I didn't teeth anything today. So I defend myself in it. So the man said to give him the box. So me defend it and tell him no. But the defense on his face, make I went back and hang the bag up back and go as the polite lady that I think I am and said to him, I went like this. He said, secret to why you? And he said, don't touch him. Just by asking him, because I try to calm him down because I'm still in the store. Not mm. knowing, he judged me from the 20th of November when I went in the kanga shop. So I have that defense to me. So anytime that girl come in my store, watch me and I. Cut long story short. So when I went and touched him, I see that he have a tension towards me. So I said, no, leave me alone. Come in at even now. The man just got so tough and spit for me and Mr. Williams. Really? Yeah. I'm at a one that a good, 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 be when my sister, the man spit by my could have believed my start sweat like how me I sweat now, my hands start shake and but back up my camera now and start running back down in the store. I said, listen, me now have this two spit of time running down. When I was going through the door, he kick at me. So mm. that's two things now. When you grow at Jamaica, the two worst things somebody can do to you is spit by you and kick you. <laughs> so those two things that he done to me, I went across the road and I said to my daughter, the security just spit at me and him kick after me. May I go back in there, go fight him. Then I forgot the port me. <sighs> but must calm down. Yeah. Real deal. So upset me, I tremble and nervous in a wind for uh. When I said that to my daughter and I went across the road, the police car was there within five minutes. Cut long story short. So I went back. Went away for one hour, I was still nervous. So I just get six apple, six orange, put them into a plastic bag. Because I had was to get that steam out of me. Because him kick after me when I got through the door. And so I'm going to ask to him, I fling the first apple in the kitchen. And the second one, I fling it out when it lick him, I just say, God, I love you. Me, you believe me? <laughs> the way I feel good. Him could have come back, come kick me up now, come and get my revenge. So I said, God, I love you. <laughs> and just throw the rest out. And it just went viral. Oh, wow. So you were capturing all of that all along? All of that? I have my daughter, when I tell her, them I forgot to deport me. So video me. But when I video it, like in 10 minutes, I see it got 10,000 views. So I said to her, take it down, take it down, come and get pregnant. Like, I remember, mm -hmm. I let off my steam and I know what happened in them. It's just a defenseful woman. So I tell my daughter, video it. So I'm going to go back and throw the orange. <laughs> my daughter even said to me, so mommy does still like, you know, but she know me. She knows that if I go back and retaliate, I'm not going to sleep. So I make sure I bring the weapon. I get six orange and six apple. That when them come lock me up, I don't know I'm not going to come lock me up. I take the lock up, I'm not going to man spit from me when first. Mm. And so when I see got 10 minutes and it went viral, and I said, no, Nastasia, take it down, take it down. And she said, I'm going to put it in her eye card. And then my two daughters said, why are you taking it down, mom? You already posted it. I got explained to everybody. So just let every I would just post it. I mean, just see it blow up viral. <laughs> oh. That was just natural. It's natural. So you're following. They, were they following you, wanting to hear more from you because they support you? 
or because you are so bold, so different, so unpredictable? Yes, I'm okay right there. I'm very spontaneous. Nothing that I've done, it's not planned. It's just me at the moment. So I've got real true followers because you know what, Winfred? Last year when my heart break at Jamaica and I went and speak to the cow, yeah? There is so much lady that's wanted to speak to a cow or a goat or some bird, but they embarrassed the evil, show that to the nation. So by me putting the camera upon myself, I make them know say, my heart hurt. I'm a nervous, I'm a can't trim the I earn my followers naturally because in my DM, I'm like a counselor. Okay. I do girl power every Wednesday for the ladies. From that day, Ash Wednesday, when I got my heart broken, one year I had my, every Wednesday, I try my best to do my girl power program because they supported me a lot. And then like so many ladies reach out to me that they are depressed and they want me to sing for them. To, just any little craziness to keep them alive. Oh, wow. So I've got genuine fans. And where are they? Where are they? Who are they? I don't have a clue. They're just people all over the world. America, Canada, Germany, Italy. It's worldwide. Because I'm a craziness. If me I cry, I share it with them. If me I dance, me share it with them. If I'm laughing. So I don't just come and pretty up. If I look like I'm mad, I'm take the camera the same way. If I have a makeup, I just be myself. I just be myself. Okay. And so... <laughs> All right, so talk about the music now. The music, now you transition to... Stop. Yeah. Watch that. Listen, that is another story now. It's from Dexter Dax now called my cross is in February. My come here. <laughs> and you know me do promotion because you pay more little change I'm a perform and produce a thing, enter, um, promote a thing. Cut long story short. He said she now wearing her underwear. That's his logo, in it? So I have on this red lingerie, get sexy and... Dexter is coming London, UK. Ah, oh, sexy big titty woman. Oh, Dexter, whatever is the case. But what I know, he find it joyful. But his presentation to me as a queen, I did not find it appropriate. Because even though I'm, I've got big breasts, a lot of people see me as sex signal. But me just sexy, but me has certain limit and levels and I've got certain principle. I am not someone that take horrible names. If me your friend, you can't say, dirty queenie. No matter how close me is, you can't see me. I say, don't know, Queenie. A lot of girls greet their friend like that. I don't like that from young. So when I saw Dexter write, Queenie, our crosses with laughing face, I start sweat. Come here, so when you're young, I want back a brock. Everybody get up and spin them roll and say, crosses. So I don't want nobody to call me crosses because he's a positive woman. <laughs> me share too much with my girl power ladies and too positive because Winford, you see if I'm upset? For your ear, my cousin say, hey, little, 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 little. I used to say, I'm done. I'm going to a different leaf. So I don't hold things in me. So when Dexter do that now, I'm going to say, everybody, I bash me. The girls, I'm going to look attention. I'm going to draw my queen. I say, these ladies don't make no sense. So I'm going to back back myself now. So I'm alone against the world. Cut long story short, somebody make a fake page now. I saw Double Top come in, you know, naturally, you know, when my born 50 years ago, God, this said Double Top for Queen for the Gallium. But listen, Winford. Mm. So, after the Dexter that something I go on for around three weeks, everybody has said, I'm for done, I'm for forgot it. I can't forget it, so people start provoking me. So, this person made this fake page, making the fake page, and start telling me some things personal about my previous relationship. So you know them touch my can, cause them know my weakness that can see them and they make me balls to the cow. Them come and tell me things about in you know, my damn post Dexter call my crosses. Mm. So me just get herbal, cause me as me tell them I have multiple personality. So me just bring out the herbal side, Miss Adi. Run half an hour after me see around ten people I send me back my own video when I send to one somebody. <laughs> 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 my son called me now and I go say to me, say, Mommy, who, 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 who's up, Mom? Who's? Me say, for the day one, son, me I tell you the God Almighty truth. Me I war with the girl from morning and the doctor, everybody, me tired, me couldn't do no more war. So, me just want them leave me alone. And, him, and he was going on and on. And I said, Son, I go get famous and make you proud of me. <laughs> that don't even know what I mean by that to the win for. Mm. But I talk to the son for around 20 minutes and I can't get to him. And I say, Son, I get famous and make you proud of me. I'm saying, nothing for do it famous, man. That's weird, mommy. I say, well, I done do it already. I have to accept me for who I is. Because I am your mama, you cannot change that. You might not nice. 
coax him, coax him, coax him. I get up the morning and I took the, my, the Instagram and I said, I'm going to let my kids proud of me because everybody has susus now. And mm. I'm saying to them, I am not sorry for what I done, Winford, but I will apologize. I will apologize for who can take the sight of what they see out there, but I am not sorry. So I get up and I plead to the nation <laughs> and I tell them, say, at the end of a good day, I'm going to change. You're not going to see a change, Queenie. I don't know why I got change, Mina Rinford. <laughs> Cut long story short now. <laughs> so down and depressed, and pastor man called me. Mm. And the pastor said to me, said, Janice, um, Bobby gave me a number. What do you want me to pray for you? I said, me, me don't want nothing. I just want to be at peace. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> and what did he do? What, what was in his prayer? <laughs> The pastor said, what do you want? I said, I want them to leave me alone and make me be at peace. That was the Monday. So after the pastor prayed for me Monday in the bed, now crippling my bed in the room for the whole world won't beat me. I may beat over the whole world, you know. <laughs> the truth I know this man when he himself in the music. Yes. He come to me and said, he want me to do my say, crazy, never lazy, and it's his song. So when he came and picked me up outside, I'm in him came said to me, say, Queenie, me write one, me tell my mother, say, me go write one crossy song for you because my sister said it upset when Dexter that call. And I said, what? You write songs for me? And I got so excited. I don't hear the song you tell Winford. Because I said, oh God, somebody come to save me. Cut long stretch out. Listen to the song, many went studio. Nobody call me no crosses. It's out. It's on all of the music platform. Mm -hmm. You better put on your glasses. Cause the queen and her cross is the queen lady. I'm a G, whatever. Done that, put it on the Instagram. Everybody I said, what? Queen, you turn artist. Ray, Ray, blah, blah, says so a good feedback in it. <laughs> Remember, Robert was sending down the private now. So he came back a couple morning now to pay me to do the intro and his song. Oh. But because, him, because him sing the crosses tune for me now, Mr. Silk. No, I don't want your money. Don't pay me. I said, he said, no, 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 I stick to my word. I'm going to, I said, no, because the song where you do for me, I love it. So I said, some today, you're not going to pay me for nothing at all. I'm a collecting money. He said, oh, can I come inside or come inside and then put in the music, put on one beat and him said, be a girl sending me a picture, your video, you know, queen. But you should just tell him that you keep it clean and it's fat. I said, send it, girl, girl, or what? And our defense, and he said, there you go, there you go in that Jamaican vibe. That's, I like that. I don't know no girl that can back that. Say it. I'ma just do the video. Say my kitty clean, say my kitty. Hey, am I allowed to say the real deal? No, okay. <laughs> yeah. So Winford, remember this is just natural in the kitchen and all. So mm. we'll post that one minute video. I see it blew up to 100,000 views. And I remember Marky Mark called me and he said to me, Queenie, you need to finish that song because that song is going to be the internet anthem. The same day we did a double tap video, Marky Mark said that to me and I was like, wow. So the song really is the, the shame becomes same because everything about the song is about me and it's what happened to me to the duration of time until we chat the lyrics then. When Freddie said, me listen back to myself, but I want my mother have me over again. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a blessing. I'm have nine tune. In the space of three months, I've done nine songs. All right, pause for a minute. Let's give our viewers a little piece of one of them right here, okay? Yes. When they see me picture, they might double talk. All right, so there you have it, a piece of Queenie's music. You did some augmentation, right, to your body and so on, and you're very proud of it. You, yes, you made it known to everybody. I done my breast twice, and I done my tummy tuck twice. Yes. And your own take on this, what do you say to young ladies who, who think that's the way to go and, and so on? What's your, what do you say to young people about this? Well, um, as somebody who has been silicone, I have to present it as it is. It's about your self-belief and what you believe in. Uh. Yes. You have a lot, yes, you have a lot of people that go to anesthetic and they fret. You have to just have faith and leave everything to Father God. 
So me now, after having five kids, I have this bang belly goat, belly like me a goat. Me not depend on bang belly something, modern time now. So I pay one doctor man for chop off the gut. When him chop off the gut, the gut flat and look good, but it a make monkey face. <laughs> so the monkey face so it a make, it flatten out the clothes, but I can't wear two pieces. Because if me did ever drop my clothes, then the them the time they went for their own interview, man. <laughs> oh, my Ah, <laughs> uh, it's too... <laughs> <laughs> no, come on, no, we, we wouldn't say no to you. I have my monkey face, I'm going to spend my 5,800 pounds, so I'm going to go up at the doctor, man. I'm going to put the camera on him, I'm going to put it on YouTube if you don't reconstruct my belly, because I'm going to give him a of money, I'm going to owe him 100 pounds, you know. The man, the runway, so the runway, I'm going to go to hell, you know. Ladies, if you don't have confidence, if you don't have faith, if you don't believe in a God, you don't do no surgery. Let me make sure I tell you now. It's not just easier than the queen of belly flat on me a rock. They have a thing that after you do the surgery, this fluid. Because my body's so hyperactive and the man give me a backdoor deal and take my whole heap of money on top of a backdoor deal, he didn't put the draining inside of me. So I should come up with that troop. So one man, the man, I wake up in my son, the man, I wake up in my daughter's bed, yeah? And the fluid starts pressing, and it's a murder! Why? Oxen! <laughs> yeah, I'm crazy. Why am I my big belly? That's why I love myself, so. Mm. Because I got through so much with the surgery. And then them chat and say, who said me have infection in my belly? Who said me I got dead? Who said me the pan stretcher? And uh, it's on the night when me going to the hospital, when Fred and all of that going, I'm looking at the mirror. That time, I, that time the hospital full. Them three of them have black frock ready for bury, for bury me. You see, on the night when 11 o'clock, when I went in at the top, I see my belly. And I said, Jesus Christ, I got love. <laughs> yeah. But I'm in just all your misery. <laughs> oh, After that pain, you have to take pain and make passion. It's not as easy. Yeah. So, you see a lot of girls, that's the queen with her own self. I wonder if them know what a 50-year-old go through. For me, what me is and where I am today. It's a lot of, it's a hard road to travel okay. and a mighty land. But you see, self-love, that's what I use and conquer the world. The way I love myself. My daughter said, Mommy, me don't know nobody will love themselves like you. And that's... So it wasn't because you didn't love yourself why you did it in the first place? No, 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 for do it, love. I'm just one bad girl. My all purpose, as I said, I've got multiple personality. I can be a lady, I can be a queen, I can be a agger, I can be a gangster, I can be anything. I can adjust to different, different character naturally. So, so for instance, eh, may I come through the airport and be here? Something naturally happened to me. I can't fly virgin in a wind further, me a queen. The lady at the deck said, in a uh, virgin. After going back to my country after 18 years, I asked her a question and she answered and turned her back. She turned her back. She said, is it that you pay the 65,000, the 65 pound, $11,000, or you make somebody carry them back here and turn mm. her back to me? And I take that as an insult. So automatically, my defense come up. So I say something rude to her. So by saying something rude to her now, this man come up in our and play clothes and they back him ID and this is him. So when him show me him ID, I say, you can't tell me not come soon. I already ready to smoke weed in on the uniform. So, you know, a policeman take that offensive part of the road of the road to the, 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 the lady <laughs> at the bed. One thing to another, when we done, the man said, the policeman said, I one question I said to your lady, I asked you if I'm bad with that, you just cause. I you say, yes, tell me half, and then you tell me, come lock me up, so them can lock me up, I'm lose the flight, bad one. Mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I have to zip my mouth next time in the airport, make them take liberty, and <laughs> <I> just zip it. <laughs> Can't fly virgin. All right, talk about your kids for me. You, you say five, five kids, right? Five lovely kids, yes, which um, I've got three daughters and two sons. With one daddy for 22 years, I've been with him. Mm. So um, I've been with him from like I was 15. I got my first child when I was 18, yeah. Been, been in quite a while. From when I was young, we used to quote him. We used to go to church. Mm. I'm in the kind of church, I meet the man and him came to go 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 club. Them tell me we are pitney. So we used to have a Monday night, so we got to church every Monday. So every Monday we don't go to church. <laughs> mm. <laughs> we got with him. But we was very young. 
So we grew up and then I have one daughter, then I have a second daughter, and the two of us migrate to England and I have a third one. It goes on till we have five. Been with him for 22 years. Go through so much like a steer. When you come to England, it's not, when you're in Jamaica, it's not a horrible thing, but it's the truth. You know. When you're a Jamaican, you just born and grew in Jamaica. You're stuck in a trap trapping a one way. When you travel and you meet different people, different nationality, you see things from different angles. Yes. By me coming to foreign now, the, because I'm always, I'm a family oriented person. So I wanted to have all my kids for one dad. So I, I want my kids to grow with the dad. But the, the youngest was eight when I break up with the man. So I break up with him, take one man, one year and nine months, the man dead. And when the man dead, I just go take one girl. Just have one girl really share, sh 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 ship with one girl. Because before the man dead, him always say, hey, girl, if you turn sodomite, you know. And them shoot him and kill him. And me, I say, no. <laughs> it just happened the way them. I live with the girl for five years, eight months. And I realized, say, this is not for me. It, it, don't knock it till you try it. I try it. It was a good relationship. But me, queen, if for reign as the queen I am, I have to have the right connection. So oh. it never worked out. Uh-uh. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Yeah. Should I go on? <laughs> go on. <laughs> yeah. So with all of that now, break up with a girl, go back to Jamaica, find one partner in Jamaica. I've been with him for five years and things just never work out in October. So I got Jamaica September. I can't remember the man met my ball to you last year, March, Ash Wednesday, you know, I'm taking back and the whole nation now will support me. I love my girl, poor girl them. Mm. Them turn against me now. I said, I should have taken back the man. So I have to turn back against them now. I said, let me show you something now. You see where a man and woman is concerned? Nobody can put no tea and no tea with no relationship. Because the same amount of say no, come back come say no. Yes. So me take back my chance. Yes, it's not for the public to who decide. So cut long story short, by being back with the partner after the public, you know me a public figure, everybody has susus or whatever. Within six months, my sister like going back for the six months is after trying back in a real world. It. So September now, I go back to Jamaica now. And me and the man break up Winford. I'm in a ball to know how I'm going to tell nobody. I just do one video. I say, I'm depressed. And? Nobody know why I'm depressed. But I had to let some steam out. So, you know, eventually, eventually, that same depression word becomes a meme. Like, you know, when people in a bad mood, they must use a pure post and them thing, and I'm like, wow. You know, you have to go through the words to get the best in life. Mm -hmm. So I'm just a positive, happy-go-lucky, nice 50-year-old woman where just enjoy life and just find my age. I mean, you know I'm a gifted person, and God gave me that gift, and he gave me it free. So like when people, like the lady will call me and say to me, she want to kill herself. The queen of the only thing can save me now is their vice. Really? I was so honored. I was so honored, you know, when Fred, the woman said, Queenie, the only thing can think for me, Queenie, the only thing can save me right now. I'm a vice. I'm going to just get the nation for prayer for her. I think for her, depend on the direct message dance. So I know I'm gifted and God made me for a special person, for a special reason. And I've got good energy. Oh. So I make people teeth my energy. It's like when you're at church, I used to the pastor, Temple Satan. It's a sometime when the fake PHM come, it's not all of them you can answer. But you have to put some of them to side and trample them in order to concentrate on your job. So is she okay now? Yes, yes, man, she's all right. Enough people, my cousin, I'm in time and I'm a bed, you know, Winford. Yes. And you call them the nation. That's your following. You call the nation, right? <laughs> the girl power, the girl power, my girl, the girl power. Girl power, nation. Yes, yes. Right. Ah. Well, my dear. I can't, I can't thank you enough for, for telling us so much, <laughs> you know, and um, we want to, I'm sure the, the follow, your followings and our followers, now we'll, a lot of them will be following you, and yeah. um, I hope you can inspire them, like, I hope so too. like you've done for your girl power. Stop. Yes, and yes, the girl power is very positive, it's, Every Wednesday, 9 UK time, 3 Jamaica time, I will do special need in between for the special need as well as anybody who has special needs. So 
it's just a little positive program where, you know, sometimes because you have a soldier husband and people look up to somebody where a soldier, if him hurt you, it's like it's a shame for you really share it with your somebody. Mm. So my program make a lot of people come and let down them here and say, boy, I feel me there with one man for two years and him to do me this. So it's nice. The ladies can come and let the hear them. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if there's one place they can, it ought to be yours, really. Yes, but other than that, I'm looking forward to continue with music and do my YouTube blogging and like I'm going to put more use in my YouTube because Instagram is just like a little playground. Okay. So I want to put my little clips, like give them my little five minutes clips of the real deal of Queenie just being me. Okay. Yeah. Oh my. Thank you so much, my dear. Well, we'll be following and watching you. And yes. um, please come back here and talk to us again sometime soon. Thank you to Creator from the Queen. Anytime you're ready, Mr. Williams, I'm here. The All the very best. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Queenie. All Thank right, you. so Lady Gangster. Queenie, Lady Gangster on our stage. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you too. Bless and love. All right. And that's our show for this week, Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more on stage.